trying out School Kill River Valley's homemade sculpta mold alternative today on my N scale model railroad. Let's do it. That's right, my main man John of School Kill River Valley has a sculpta mold alternative video out with 6,000 views. Can you believe that? 6,000 views. When I noticed that, I said, I gotta go check this out. I gotta try this process out. We're gonna see how it works. I don't have to tell you 500 subs is quite an accomplishment, which John has 500 subs. But if you do the ratio between 500 subs and 6,000 views, error. Dang, the math is astonishing. I can't even do it. But let me tell you this. I know enough to know maybe this stuff's working. I got a ton of sculpt mold I need to do on my layout. And so I need to try this process out. But let me show you this video, what it looks like so you can find it to access it if you need it. Today, I'm going to make a homemade sculpt mold alternative. I hope you stay tuned. Hi, I'm really glad you could join me today. I've started to add some terrain to the layout, and I thought this would be a good time to show how I make a homemade sculpt mold alternative. So I use an old blender. Now you can't simply run the shreds through the blender. They're too light and they won't cycle down into the blades. So I put in enough paper shreds to cover the blades by an inch or two when compressed, then add water to just cover the shreds. The water will allow the shreds to cycle down to the blades. Depending on how long you grind them, you can get them pretty fine. All right, so to begin the process, per the instructions, I'm gonna be balling up some of this, wetting it down, blending it up, putting it in my strainer to let it dry some, and I'm gonna squeeze it out, let it spread it out, bake it for two hours, just like John said. I'm about to put you on time lapse, and I'm gonna do just that. All right, here we are in the kitchen with the product that we have at this point. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I followed John's instructions pretty much to the T, other than over stuff in the blender, which probably isn't shocking to you. You knew I was gonna try that, but the product came out really nice. I'm very happy with it. We're gonna put the oven on 220. I think my man John said for two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and listen this time. I'm not gonna bump it up any. 222 hours. We'll try that.
right, this is how much product you should get from one double roll of John Wayne cheap toilet paper. That's John Wayne toilet paper, everybody. That's rough, tough, and don't take no poof off nobody. Cheap toilet paper, all right, everybody? Got the oven set preheating at 220. Gonna put it in there for two hours. Gonna let it bake. Gonna bring it out, just like John said. Gonna put it back in the blender after I put my dust mask on. After I put my dust mask on, I'm gonna put it back in the blender. I'm gonna shave it up some more. Then I'm gonna take three parts of this to one part plaster, add a little water to cottage cheese consistency, and we're gonna have homemade sculpting mold thanks to John. All right, time's up. Let's see what we got. It is recommended that you use an oven mitt when you pull hot metal objects out of an oven. Again, we'll see, uh, but it is pretty much a good consistency. There are some clumps and chunks, and uh, maybe I should have added a little more water. Um, didn't want to go too far past that, but uh, again, uh, might break it down one more time. We'll just have to see. I'll let you know soon once this gets good and done. Will it dry out? But I'm going to be gluing this foam around the edges so I can use the sculpting mold off the, over the top of this. I want to see how it covers this, how it works in the greens, as well as how it fits, um, works on the flat stuff. But we're going to get to work on it here in just a sec. I'm going to use some wood glue and the foam around the edge. And next we'll be mixing up John's homemade sculpta mold alternative. That's three parts what I got right here. One part plaster, just enough water to make cottage cheese. I'm gonna put it over the top. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna shoot this video out to you.
come back over and smooth it out to where I want it to be. I'm going to let it dry, see how it turns out. That is one roll of toilet paper. Goes a long way on there. That's a lot of sculpta mold down. It's already starting to set. We'll be back with you soon to let you know how it turned out. I think it turned out great. It's a great recipe, John. Thanks for putting it out there for us. And thanks for letting me use it in my video. I really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe and click the bell icon if you have not already. I also want to encourage you to check back in soon. There will be an announcement video coming out very soon about our next episode of the Community Roundhouse that will be coming out on November 11th. I want to give a channel update on that coming up soon on where that's going to be going to be a fantastic new format episode we got some changes coming up it's going to be great 
that'll be my next work and then i'll have a video coming out shortly after that on my channel for sure i appreciate y'all tuning in today and watching have a great one